Hello everyone, this is Nazarat Fatima and you're watching Live Law. It is said that cross-examination is an art. And it is also said that sometimes not to ask questions to witnesses is more important than asking questions in a trial. Supreme Court has recently dealt with a case involving an interesting situation. Apart from other issues before the court, the question which was decided by the court was whether a suggestion to witness by a defence counsel having certain incriminating elements can be considered as evidence during the trial. The case before the court was the murder case in which both the trial court and the high court had concurrently held that the two accused have committed a murder and they were in appeal before the Supreme Court. The appeal was being heard by a bench comprising Justice Sudhanshu Dhulia and Justice J.B. Pardiwala. The issue of evidentiary value of a suggestion of defence counsel put to witness, as I said earlier, came up before the court. Here, the defence counsel made a suggestion regarding the scene of occurrence, admitting the presence of the accused. When the question of the defence counsel contains an answer, or if a part of it goes against the accused, the court said it can be believed, even if the question is put by the defence counsel. The accused cannot have a defence that the question put by the defence counsel was without his authority. And for arriving at such a conclusion, the court relied upon certain previous cases. To provide a little extended understanding of this principle, let's try explaining it through an example. For example, an accused totally denies his presence at the scene of occurrence, while the defence counsel asks the witness whether the accused was standing on right or left of the victim. Here, the defence counsel suggests the presence of the accused, which is an incriminating circumstance against the accused, which, as per the dictum laid down by the court, is a suggestion having evidentiary value. Similarly, in the present case, the court finally held that any concession or admission of fact by a defence counsel would definitely be binding on his client, except on the point of law. That's it for today's video. In order to read the judgment or go into the details, go to our website for better understanding of the case. Meanwhile, if you like our content, please like and share. Do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. For suggestions or feedback, you can also reach out to us at our email ID, which is info at livelaw.in. Thank you for watching.